Okay, so some of you might already be aware. Uh, this might be coming as news to some of you, though. Billy Joe Saunders has failed a drug test. Now, for anyone that was catching up on some of the, the news and the articles prior to the Canelo and Triple G rematch, there was an interview with Billy Joe where he was very, very vocal about people testing positive for any kind of drug that is on the banning list. I think the quote from Billy Joe came something along the lines of anybody caught using, anybody failing a drug test should be banned for life. Well, here we are. <laughs> the, the, the irony of this is, is just too much. And, you know, it, it's an, it, and I, I'm not laying blame or guilt. This is just my opinion. But hypothetically speaking, just because somebody says something, it doesn't mean it's true. You know, if you were to ask, uh, let's say there, there's a married man who cheats on his wife religiously, uh, and he was to be, he was walking down the street one day, and he's pulled over by an interviewer one day randomly that says, you know, what, what's your feelings on fidelity? Would you ever cheat on your wife? Do you honestly think he's going to turn to the camera and say, yes, I believe in it? Of course he's going to say, no, I would never. It's disgusting. I, I absolutely hate anybody that even considers cheating on their wife. Meanwhile, he could be cheating on her a hundred times. Just because somebody's giving you the rhetoric of what they expect to hear or what they know you want to hear, that doesn't mean it's true. That doesn't mean that there aren't occasions when somebody is telling the truth, but people lie, okay? Especially when asked a stupid question like, you know, what is your opinion on drug cheats? You know, so... However, what is very, very interesting, and I waited a couple of days before I made a video on this because I wanted to at least have some context behind it. Now, an interview, and I'll put the link in the description below, an interview has just came out from Ring TV interviewing Victor Conti. Now, some of you may or may not know who Victor Conti is, but he was involved in a huge steroid scandal years ago and has kind of since now turned over a new leaf and he's basically working with the anti-doping agencies to try and notice patterns in fighters and encourage testing. So I guess he's, in that sense, he's an expert. He spent a lot of his career trying to avoid it, uh, so he knows kind of what to look for. Now, I'm going to give you a bit of the, the, the context of their interview, you know, so in case you don't have time to, to see it. But Billy Joe Saunders has failed a drug test for methyl or methyl synephrine, I think it's called, which, according to Victor Conte, is extraordinarily potent and very, very powerful. Now, I'm going to give you some snippets of their of the Victor Conti interview to give context to what exactly he's failed a drug test for. So Billy Joe Saunders and Frank Warren put forward a statement to say this is just a nasal dis kind of a nasal decongestant, over the counter, not a problem, whatever. Um, it's completely fine to use outside of competition periods under British Anti Doping Agency and the World Anti Doping Agency. But during competition time, meaning on the night of the fight, it's a banned substance. Okay. VADA, however, has this as a banned substance on its its out of competition period as well as its in competition period. So all year round you can never be on this substance while under VADA testing because it's illegal. Okay. So that's important to remember. Now Victor Conte referenced that he'd picked up a concern over Billy Joe Saunders from the huge amount of weight he lost between fights, particularly in his last two fights. Uh, you know, I think he, there's a quote of him saying the chubby guy turning into the skinny guy in 30 days. Um, now, there was actually a clause in the Andrade and Billy Joe Saunders fight stating that if Matchroom wished to use VADA testing, they could. Now, Victor Conte actually sponsored the VADA testing for this fight. I'm assuming he's associated somehow with Andrade. Uh, but he actually paid for the, the sponsorship for this testing to be run. So at this point, Billy Joe Saunders and his team would be given a list from VADA to say this are, these are the banned substances. Okay, now methyl synephrine or ephedrine, I think it's more commonly known as back in the days, uh, according to Victor Conti, is very, very powerful and up to 10 times more potent than something called clenbuterol, which is what Canelo was allegedly caught using. Well, he was caught using it, regardless of whether it was intentional or not. I'm not here to debate, but he was caught with this in his system. Now, methyl synephrine increases your speed. It's used to burn weight. It opens the, the airways, basically. It opens your kind of uh, your nervous system as well. It's an enhancing drug of sorts. There's no two ways about it. Why? Now, this, this 
drug is banned all year round in NFL, in baseball, in seemingly every other, every other sport that isn't boxing. For some reason, in competition, it's it's banned. But on WADA and British Boxing Doping Agency, out with competition periods, it's not a banned substance. I don't know why that is, but WADA has it banned year round, obviously for good reason. Now, Victor Conti made the point that there's a lot of carryover effects with these drugs, and just because and this this drug in particular leaves your system within 24 hours which i find astonishing and again i can't certify the effectiveness and the potency of this drug but victor conte was very clear in his opinions of of the drug now what is most annoying obviously was billy joe saunders has always seemed to be in an absolute has absolute hatred for for cheats and drug cheats in the sport. And if he's been cheating this entire time, you know, who can you really trust? I don't know if he has. Again, this is... But he has failed a drugs test. So whether voluntary or involuntary or knowingly or unknowingly, he has ingested this abandoned substance under VADA testing. Now... VADA, as far as I'm aware, do not have the power to stop the fight. It will fall to the state the fight's going into. I think it's Massachusetts. Now, the world boxing, the world anti-doping, I said, do do not have this drug as an out-of-competition banned substance. VADA do. Now, I don't know who the Massachusetts Boxing Commission, if that's what it's called, defaults to. I assume they default to WADA, in which case the fight can happen because it's not a banned substance in WADA testing. But there's a reason why boxers insist on using VADA testing because they have a much wider spectrum, they do much more testing and they obviously have a stricter and more stringent drug policy. So there was obviously a, there was a contract, that, there was a, a clause put into the Andrade contract for a reason, giving Matchroom the option to use VADA. That was executed, they decided to use it. So I don't see the point of having that clause if you then go and pay the money to hire them, see the tests and then ignore the results at the end. I don't know how Massachusetts make their decision on this. VADA was a an option. They chose to follow it. They found drugs on a boxer. So I don't know. I think by law, the Massachusetts state can follow WADA, which means it's non-issue. But I, I imagine they have the option to include VADA in their decision-making policy. Uh, that That's speculative, though. I don't know that. I, I'm really annoyed for so many reasons. I really wanted to see this fight. I thought it was a great fight. I was very much looking forward to it. But even if the fight now goes ahead and Billy Joe Saunders wins, everything he does is now going to be tainted. He's a huge hypocrite. He must have known. He must have known that this drug was on Vada's uh, Vada's list of banned substances. So he, even if, even if within the terms of legality, he's correct because Wada don't have it on their their books as a as an out of competition drug. He still must have known there was skepticism with it. He still must have known this is enhancing my performance somehow. And in the eyes of some, is a banned substance. So there was it's definitely a grey area. And for him to be such a, a steward of anti-doping, it seems quite hypocritical if he has knowingly, ing- if he has knowingly ingested this. Now, it could be that, you know, Billy Joe Saunders' team is responsible for feeding him supplements and nutrients and whatever, and he just he pays them and he takes what they give him. And it's not his responsibility to be going and checking everything else, but ultimately it is. If you employ people who are incompetent, you still are then responsible for their decision-making. Regardless of whether it was your fault or not, regardless of whether it was your intention all along, it doesn't matter. If you don't take enough care about yourself to know it, then again, being oblivious doesn't kind of free you of responsibility. So I'm I'm really very very disappointed. I find it very hard to believe that Billy Joe Saunders didn't know what he was taking. Again, this is purely my opinion. It's not a it's not slander. It's just an opinion. But yeah, I'm I'm, I'm really quite uh, quite annoyed. And Andrade looked like he was he was really up for this fight. He looked like he was in great shape. It, I think it was going to be a fantastic fight. And maybe the fight will still go ahead, but it's going to have 
doubt lingering over it if Billy Joe Saunders walks away as the winner. And I think he now he's always going to carry doubt over him. And I, by his own words, he should be banned for life. Regardless of the reason, regardless of whose fault it was, by his own words, under VADA testing, he took something that was illegal, and by his own words, if you fail a drugs test, you should be banned for life. So... I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to make of this. Let me know what your your thoughts and your comments are. Maybe I have this all wrong. Maybe you're a, a of the opinion that this is a misunderstanding that he didn't break the rules. I don't know. Maybe you're of the opinion that he should be banned for life. But please do share your thoughts. I love reading boxing comments. I love being involved in boxing discussion. So, yeah, catch you folks very soon. Thanks.